hey what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you some of my monthly maintenance i know it's hard to find authentic male maintenance vlogs so if you're interested keep watching and i hope you enjoy we're gonna kick this shit off by fixing my window because look somebody decided to bust my fucking window and steal my fucking wallet out the glove box which i locked in there Mind you, I was in a white area of Houston called Buffalo Bayou Park. I just went for a run on Sunday, and my and today is Wednesday, and my shit's been busted out ever since. The last vlog I told y'all if y'all moved to Houston, you're gonna get your windows busted. In. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? And I, I, I told you, I told y'all, look at this. And I literally locked my shit in my glove box, and they broke it off. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Literally found one of these, somebody put me on. So let's see how they do. The, the total, everything together, the glove box and the window is only gonna cost me like $375. So hopefully they do a good job. Look at my hair. My Jeep looks a fucking mess. Everything's a fucking mess. What's up, man? What's up, man? You gonna fix it for me? Yeah. The glove box too, right? Yeah. Can you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In the office, I'm in the ghetto. Now we just wait. <laughs> I literally just want to thank God for like giving me the money. Live the life. You know, I always want more out of life. You know what I mean? I always want more. I always want to experience more. Experience the luxuries of life. I just thank God for giving me the funds, the money to like, just do the things that I want to do. My needs are taken care of, you know? I might want a lot, but my needs are very much taken care of. My car, my job, my house. I just thank God for it, like, it's really a blessing, like for real. You know, just your car get fucked up and you have the money to fix it. It's really a blessing. But outside of all the mushy and your feeling shit about life, uh, we got a packed schedule ahead. We got nails needing to be done. Look at this, a mess. Retwist. Last time I got a retwist was my mom's funeral. That was in December. Uh, we need a haircut. And we gotta go to the dentist. He did a good ass job, look. <laughs> Glove box fixed. I'm just glad this shit is fucking fixed. I ain't never leaving shit else in this goddamn Jeep again. $300 to do that, I mean, that was a steal. <laughs> now I can use the rest of the money to go get my nails done. And I need to schedule my hair appointment. I need to schedule a haircut for tomorrow. Hey, right, change your plans. You're about to go to get something to eat. <laughs> what? And nails of America shit ripping off already. I never look bummy like this. I'm telling y'all, I always be on point with my shit, but I had to like take a break from that shit to like understand that I don't need that shit. Cause I was doing that shit faithfully, religiously, like just being like on top of everything. Yes, I like doing that, but I felt like it was time to chill, relax, vibe out with my natural shit. You know what I mean? I'm yours for the I'll take a small bowl of uh, brisket fuzz. I can have the lean part of brisket. Yeah. And, uh... I'm taking it to the flow now. Oops. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to show y'all my feet and this shit look crazy. I haven't got a manicure since in September. A pet is this a manicure or a pedicure? <laughs> What's funny, bitch? You've gotten a pedicure and manicure since, since September. No, I didn't. You haven't got one in six months? That's crazy. Let me show y'all this shit.
What is going on with my foot? Why are they yellow? No, for real. Do you have a Bitch, what you say? What? You like 60 years old. What'd you say? What'd you say? Take it! <laughs> That's not funny. Um, I'll take us some Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. You're welcome. That I got last time. What's it? Cheers. To the girls' weekend. King shit. <laughs> Mei Ling, one sushi, please. I made it back home. The nails is done. Tomorrow morning, I gotta go get my teeth checked up at the dentist. So that's at 8 a.m. Yeah, we'll tap back in tomorrow. I'll see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. I'm late to my dentist appointment. Fuck, I don't think I'm gonna brush my teeth. Let's go straight there. I'm going to the dentist. Why would I need to brush my teeth? This. <laughs> That's why I love self-start cars. I ain't brush my teeth, I ain't wash my face. That's pretty crazy. Turn right. Where the fuck is it at? Oh, Colony Dental. with the doctor i need a deep cleaning because the tartar is too built up around my teeth the crown has a cavity under it and needs to be cut off and replaced with a temporary one i haven't got a dental checkup since the beginning of last year and this is crazy if you look at my teeth just off of face value they don't look bad like people wish they had this the emphasis on dental hygiene and the importance of like taking care of your teeth the tartar buildup was making me lose bone in my teeth the cavities aren't big they're small just on the chewing surfaces but I don't know, like my breath never stinked. So I don't brush my teeth like twice a day or floss every day. I brush my teeth like in the morning, floss when I feel like I have something in my teeth. Maybe I should stop doing that. I'm gonna really get serious about my hygiene, like for real. No, I have great teeth right now. So I showed y'all that my car got, window got busted out and they stole my wallet. So why the fuck I come here, I'm doing all that shit and why the fuck does everything cost $1,200? <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, let's go to the bank. Buying Mason Margiela tabbies for the same amount and my mouth fucked up. Buying $300 dinners and my mouth fucked up. I be in a tattoo shop, but my mouth fucked up. <laughs> $1,200? Excuse me? I better be Tim Skylark when I leave this bitch. I shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth and me. Shiny teeth and me. The fuck Dre Skylark? This is what it take, maintenance. This is what it take to be a bad bitch. Let's be real, let's show the full thing. Niggas always in the gym, but it's you niggas in the dentist. No, I guarantee you they not. Let's see. Yeah, I went inside of the branch. They don't have a teller because we modeling or something. Oh, uh, shut up. When you think about fuck it. Up. Okay. The fuck? They told me I couldn't scan my passport at the ATM. We'll scan it in over here and upload it to your account. Why y'all didn't do that in the first place? We got the cash. Had the money, y'all. There's poor people around. Oh. With your broke ass. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, this is for important shit, but all jokes aside, uh, I'll keep y'all tapped in after everything's done. 10 11.
I can't feel my mouth. One twelve. Three hours later, but my mouth is fixed. Everything's good. Eleven hundred dollars. My lips. I'm drooling. My lips are dry. Hopefully, this shit wears off soon. Now it's off to get a retwist. <laughs> my lips are back in motion, so I'm headed to get my retwist. And after that, it's just gonna be a haircut, and the maintenance is gonna be done. So let's go. Take this on the floor now. I'm up here vibing to Beyonce and we need gas. Black road on up. later Where? You, okay? <laughs> you gotta give up something they want to see they want to see me get my hair done <laughs> like when you, got, when you had that that man hand around your neck are you just showing your teeth <laughs> Get the haircut in the morning. That was $90 though. That's the cheapest you can find in a retwist in Houston right now. And this man is seasoned, like he been doing this shit. Brought me back to life. Like a baddie, I'm 75% loaded. What the hell was that? But no, for real. What the hell was that? 6.35 AM. I'm finna get this last piece of the puzzle completed. And to finalize all of this shit. I'm just getting here. It's 7.06. This is the before. Check the side, get into it. <laughs> Looking like a, a snizzack. I look good as fuck. Like, come on. Last, last thing to just certify that you're a handsome slash bad bitch slash that nigga is to get your whip detail. That's the last cherry on top. Let's go get a detail. Your boy gonna feel 100%. Right now, I'm at like 99.7. <laughs> Once my whip get clean with a full tank of gas, I'm good. So let's hit there. Hey, good morning, man. Good morning, sir. Just wanted a regular, uh, what is it called, a QT? My car's really not that dirty. I don't know if y'all could see. All right, that's how my car look. They be doing a good ass job here, I ain't gonna lie. Now I feel like a boss. This was only $60 too. Now I feel like I wanna go make some money. Who the fuck blowing at me? Bad bitch. Illegal. These ugly bitches is really boosting my ego. Okay, I'll see y'all when I get home. It's a man. Bye. Yo, this has been a really long and humbling experience. You know what I mean? From me getting my car window fix and glove box, me getting my hair done, then me getting a haircut, and the dentist. I just really thank God for giving me the means to do everything I needed to do to go from looking like a homeless person to this, what we're looking at and witnessing here in person right now. So bringing you guys actually into my dentist room, showing y'all what it takes, 
like having insurance and like being able to address all the problems that was wrong with my teeth. Cause a lot of people would be like, oh shit, you got good teeth. Like, oh, did you have braces? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, but for me to show you guys and bring you guys with me to show you guys that experience to be open about all the issues that's going on in my mouth, even on surface level when it don't look like shit is going on. Showing like how much I was paying out of pocket because I had insurance. Like imagine if I didn't have insurance, dental insurance, like that shit would have been so much more money. So that definitely shedding light on dental hygiene, making sure you have those insurances available to you as you get older. Cause it's like, if I did not have that, I would still be dealing with those problems. For me to be able to take care of that, like I just thank God and to show that experience with, to you guys. Like, I feel like that's interesting. Look at all the shit that I had to pay this month just by myself alone. So I don't have time to be dealing with somebody who don't got their shit together. So I feel like that sheds another life uh, aspect on dating, especially in the gay community, bro. I'm just so happy that you guys got to see this and got to see like the shit that i have to go through yo this has been cool this has been fun i'm almost at a thousand subscribers so i really thank you guys for this i really 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 do thank you guys keep subscribing click like comment do all that shit i, I hate saying that. i feel like i'm begging you you know what i mean but if you fuck with me just do it just do it out the kindness of your heart like all you gotta do is watch the video all you gotta do is like leave a comment this that's a wrap for this one it's the march monthly maintenance vlog i hope you guys liked it i loved it it was needed so thank you guys come again and i'll see y'all on the next one thank you